Today, I would like to introduce you to the John Maylis Wave Editor, a super useful tool for the Yamaha Mod X and Yamaha Montage. When we open the John Maylis Wave Editor, the first thing we see is this window here. Up here are a few icons that should look familiar, is a new file. Open. Save. Import waveforms. Import keybanks. Back. Forward. A search function and audio and MIDI setup. Then we see here the user storage, the eight libraries that the devices can load. The waveforms are those that you have added yourself or obtained from other files from other people. These are definitely the waveforms that are not standard in the modex. Here are the self-created arpeggios, the user curves for all performances, and here the live sets. We can always access them here and we can set which audio output we want to choose. This will look different for everyone. Then you can choose the MIDI input which can also be selected directly in the modex. I will now simply open one of my files. For this, I will plug in a USB stick. Then I click here to open. Unfortunately, that is the wrong USB stick, but I still have a library here that we can use and it will open now. Now we can see different waveforms. These are the wave files that I have contributed, for example. I'm just going to stick with living on a prayer for now. Here we see that I have used seven samples. These are one-shot samples, and I see up here, whenever I switch, the waveform changes as well. I can then adjust a few things. I can set a level of the waveform. I can move it left and right. I can choose the root key. I explained what the root key is in another video. This refers to the root key on which the sample is based. When I select the key range beyond the root key, the Yamaha Modix and Yamaha Montage automatically transpose the sample up or down. Then I can set the range of the velocity range here, meaning in which range the samples should respond to light and strong hits. Then I can transpose and fine tune, and here specify whether it should be a one shot or a loop. In my case, these are one shot samples. Here you can see the format and size of the individual file. Then I can also adjust the volume for the overall sound down here. Cutoff, resonance, attack, and release. I use these myself. I have now created the sounds on the Yamaha Modix. However, it is also very easy to create new waveforms here, specifically by clicking on an empty arrow here, then. I quickly look for a sample, just to show that, and now I just drag a sample in here. So, now I have dragged the first sample in here. This also creates the name of the sample. You can see the waveform here, and now I could simply just add another sample. Now you can see here, that I have two different samples in this, so I can delete the sample files now because I don't need them, and I can also create the samples directly in the John Malis Wave Editor. That's a really cool thing. Now you can see all the arpeggios that I have used. Here are the user curves. Here are all my performances and also the live sets. If you double click on it, you will automatically access the live sets. What's cool now is that I can open a new file here. It doesn't really matter at first because I can save it differently. I'm going to open a modex user file here. Now I have a new file. Let's make this a bit smaller. To show this now, I will go to the performance here. Now I can simply drag the performance over. Wonderful. And the best part is that it has taken the waveform with it. And if I had arpeggios in there, it would have taken the arpeggio as well. I'm going to take something with arpeggio now, switch back to performance, drag it over, and Zahir took the arpeggios for the song. This way, I can easily combine sounds, user sounds from different libraries, without having to go through the cumbersome methods on the Yamaha Modex and Yamaha Montage. Of course, it can be done that way too. I showed that in a video, but this way is really very, very simple, so it's worth it. From my perspective, it's extremely important to take the money in hand. These are the main topics I deal with. I simply sort the performance in between. When I create them, they are not just lined up one after the other. Eventually, it sorts them out. And since there's a new case, what I can do now is show it again. In the top left, I have the menu, which you can't see now, the waveform editor file in the windows, and here I can select save as. Then I can enter the name here or I can create an export user file. Then a user file will be created from it that has a different extension. I would recommend saving it as a library, so as an L file. This way, 
you can easily load the file additionally on your device. If you want to load your own file again, then use a user case so that it doesn't consume a library. <laughs>